Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now this is the Triumph Bobber and these are my final thoughts and we're trying to figure out today if this bike is for you. Now, I've had the Triumph Bobber for around two weeks. Press bikes are generally given to me for around two weeks from the manufacturers for me to make an awesome review that I've already done if you've not seen it. And then I like to spend the rest of my time getting to know the bike a little bit more in depth so I can share all of my final thoughts with you. And this bike, well, it's been interesting. Now, I wanna start here with looks because this is one of those bikes that you generally can't stop staring at. You know what it's like, you pop out for a non-alcoholic beer at a pub or a posh coffee overpriced at a coffee shop. And the thing of it is, you generally do spend most of your time just staring at it. What they've created, haven't they? They've created this unbelievable cool look and it doesn't get old no matter how many rides you go on you just can't stop staring at it this bobber is their stealth edition so it's the sapphire purple and silver purple colors but what it actually gives you is is this beautiful tank that's a real mixture so in different sunlights and different angles you get these different colors coming through it really does pop so you've got this really deep purple and then you've got this proper stealth black so wherever you're sat there drinking your coffee and staring at it you're going is it black is it purple what is it and it just works really well and in my opinion it adds so much to the look if i was looking at buying one I generally think it would have to be this colour. And then this rear end. I mean, we all do, don't we? We like to look at a rear end, especially a nice perky rear end. Well, this has an incredible rear end. The big chunky mud guard that you can completely see adds to this look, doesn't it? I mean, it's got that bobber look because we've got this floating seat. I keep looking at this floating seat as well because that design just looks delicious. And then you've got these two massive exhausts. I love of that as well the twin exhaust and the sound oh my gosh the sound this bike creates literally makes you feel like you're on fire And then, of course, there's the front of the bike. We all like to look at the front of the package, don't we? And this headlight, it's small. It's not huge and dangling. It's small, but it also adds this kind of meaty look to it. Again, I love the point you've got this lovely little Triumph emblem in the middle. It just adds more and more to look. Beefy bike, small headlight makes it feel massive. I think you can tell over the two weeks, this has just grown on me more. I mean, when it came out of the back of the van, when Triumph dropped it off to me, I was like, wow, that is something special. And I've seen them at the shows, in the showroom. This bike's been out for a while. But what they do every single year is they add different colour schemes to it. They spice it up a little bit. And that's exactly what they've done, especially with this Stealth Edition. And it is, like I said, every time I stare at it, it grows on me more. So it's gone from, I really like it when it came out the back of the van to, oh wow, I love the look of this bike. But what we should do, what we should do now is jump on the road and let's have a chat about how I found it over the last two weeks. Now here, what I found, the more miles I'm doing on this bike, this engine, this absolute powertrain of an engine, 76.9 horsepower, and I'll be honest, it feels like well over a hundred because the torque and the power this bike gives out is just unreal. You turn this roll and you're like, look, it is just, whoa. And that's the thing. What I found is, because I've been on this kind of really busy week, and if you're like me, and you know when you just go like, I've worked my butt off all week and I just need to blow away the cobwebs, have a moment to myself, take in a second of excitement, this will do that for you. It really, really will. I just absolutely love this 1200cc engine in these. It's just, like I said, it's like trying to hold back a caged animal that is desperate, absolutely desperate for you to just, whoa! <laughs> oh, I could do that all day. I generally could. Let's check around this bend. Is it clear? Ready? And again. That is just, oh, it's what you need. You know that feeling of what you need? 
it just does that for you and it's a beautiful place to be now there is the ups and downs like all bikes have their ups and downs nothing's perfect and the one thing i will say is that in regards to the seat and the rear suspension the way it's set up with this floating seat there's a little bit of compromise there because i wouldn't say it is spongy comfortable like riding on a cloud it is very much you do feel the bumps and the little bits and the vibration so pick your tarmac well it would be my advice if you want to give it a proper blast but i wouldn't go to the point of saying it's enough for me to go i don't like it it's just i feel like it could be a little bit smoother as an improvement this bike could do with but that engine and opening up that roar and the note this bike makes every time you open it makes up for that anyway <laughs> it really does so on the more boring roads these are the kind of roads that you commute to work on for me the studio and say they're about 10 miles away or 15 20 minutes of riding the bobber would be fine for that generally it's a commuter bike to go there and back would be fine it's not what i'd pick the bike for but you could easily go to the office and back and the one thing about it is when you do turn up at the office on this absolutely uber sexy looking bike you know everybody in that office is going to look at you going he's so cool look at him rocking up looking uber sexy on his uber cool bike and everybody's going to want to touch you in the office so i'll pre-warn you on that it will get you quite a lot of attention but i wouldn't generally probably wouldn't be looking at getting one of these for a big commute because I wouldn't want to wreck it more than anything else i think the comfort level the bike itself is not a big commuting bike more of a blast to stare at bike if that makes sense now here in a busy town or in a city this bike weighs 251 kilograms so you do know it's there it's definitely got that weight that you know you're riding a heavier bike but because this is such a low seat height as you can see you're not really worried about it it doesn't feel cumbersome to move around when i move it in and out of the garage i don't have any issues there either i can literally wheel it in and out without huffing and puffing so 251 kilograms on this beast doesn't really bother me and at these slower speeds it still feels nice and agile enough that you can whip it around in and out of traffic without any kind of issue whatsoever but away from the towns and the cities is really where this bike comes alive right out here in this beautiful countryside where just literally with a slight tweak of the throttle this bike falls away beautifully or for that rush you just give it that full throttle turn but even here on the bends with these low slung down exhausts it still has enough clearance for you to have enough of the giggle to have some serious fun on the twisters as well but with that torque with that engine roar this bike's truly in its element right here well the beautiful triumph bobba it's been an absolute honor to ride this bike for the last two weeks it's one of those press bikes that gets dropped off and you cannot but get excited to go out and thrash the pants off of it but the thing of it is i always ask myself that question would i buy this bike at the end of these two weeks and it's one of those really weird answers for me because yes i would but i've already got a triumph scrambler in the garage and i absolutely love that and i don't know if i'd give up that to own this and there isn't room for both what leaves me in that kind of mixed place because when i ride this i feel uber uber cool when you ride it for a town people are staring at you when you stop to grab that coffee people want to talk to you about this bike because it just oozes sexiness and that is the thing it makes me really really want one now if you own a bobber i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments as well what's it like on a day-to-day -day basis not just that if you're looking at buying a triumph bobber then please share those thoughts as well what was it like to purchase what was it like out on the road how does it make you feel I'd be dead interested to read that but for me this is my final ride on this mighty steed so let's make it 11 out of 10 and say goodbye to the triumph bobber in true 11 out of 10 style <laughs>
again.